Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It's Hangover Tuesday. Dustin's hungover. Hi. We have a special guest today. We've got the lovely Vedanta Sproston in the background, Hi. my lovely girlfriend. We're going to teach her uh, the ropes from Dustin's point of view because um, we almost didn't have Dustin today. Almost. Yeah, he's a little rough. <laughs> a little rough. Yeah, we decided to have a little dinner last night and sit out back in the in the uh, in our little bar where we've we've got a little sanctuary in the backyard and well, half a bottle of whiskey later, Dustin staggered Still home. I can't believe it was half a bottle. It was half a bottle. <laughs> but we had a good time. It was a good time. It was a very fun time. Yes, it was. Very enlightening, lovely time. So, uh, so today. We've got, first of all, we've got a, a, an amazing flash sale going on over at CreatureArtTeacher.com. It's 50% off or more of all of our sh Photoshop brushes and texture sets today only. So go over to CreatureArtTeacher.com, uh, my website, and all of the brushes. We've got hundreds of brushes. Uh, they're all 50% off. So go check that out. Um, so like I said, I've got Dustin. Hung o hangover Dustin today. Uh, hangover HD. Like yep. And Vedanta in the background. We've got Nick over in Sarasota. And um, my trusty business partner, Nick Birch. He's Nick, about Nick, 180 Nick, Nick, Nick. Mi 160 miles away in Sarasota. And he's going to be manning questions as well. And, uh, and we thought today... Let me see here. I don't get hungover anymore. Well, not not it, it, not it as depends. bad as Dustin. It but, depends. Yeah. It, it, well, I'll be wearing the pens soon. Uh, but anyway, um, we thought today we would do request day. Request day. Yeah. Let's do a request day. I don't want to do anything like, don't give me like a robot chicken or something like that. Although that's a great show. You know that's show. actually a show. <laughs> yeah, I know. Robot chicken. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Have you ever watched that but show? I have. I love it. It's did Seth, Seth Green. Uh, Seth Green, yeah. Seth Green, yeah. I met Seth Green once. Did you? I did. He's a little guy. Yeah. He very, he very much He came did. in to do some voice work at Disney. Or I think he was auditioning at Disney, and I met him down in the hallway. Oh, actually, no. He came, he came in to audition for me. That's what it was. Ah. For one of the movies I was doing. That's why I met him. Um, so... We have our first request. Okay. Um, draw a white mouse with a baby moose. What? A white mouse with a baby moose. A white mouse with a baby moose. That's really bizarre. Or I'd love to see a horse or unicorn from you. Oh, horse or unicorn. Unicorns are fun. I don't think you I don't think you've drawn a unicorn yet. A unicorn. A unicorn. A unicorn. A unicorn. You a corn? I'm a corn. All right, what else we got? You, okay, so a unicorn. We'll just make it unicorn. Um, a white mouse with a baby moose. That's just weird. I think it's just to show, like, the cutesiness between the two of them. Yeah, I get you. I, what, I think yeah. That's the idea. I think it's really weird. I think I um, love the way you're thinking. asking for a gorilla. Oh, a gorilla. A Firefox. Firefox. Um, a gorilla. Oh, a gorilla sounds like fun. An Arizona Diamondback drinking whiskey. Oh, with what? With what? He needs hands, right? Now, I guess we could use his coils. Could. Yeah. I like the gorilla idea. The gorilla? Yeah. A dragon? Yeah. Uh, a crane or another bird? Pegasus with babies. Ooh, a Pegasus. Ooh, Pegasus with babies. Yeah, I like the idea of Pegasus. <laughs> Draw Dustin as an animal character. Well, I, today you'd be a hibernating anything that hibernates. Yeah, <laughs> Dustin's going to hibernate. I like the Pegasus. <laughs> I like Pegasus, yeah. too. I'm really liking that idea. Pegasus with babies. That's uh, a lot of work. Let's just start. Let's 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 go with the Pegasus. I like that. Pegasus? Yeah. All right. Whoever suggested Pegasus, you're awesome. All the other the, all the, the other ones are awesome, too. Um, but uh, I, I, just, I haven't done a Pegasus in a, uh, quite a while. Yeah, oh, I, I, I personally was uh, really liking the uh, the baby moose and mouse idea. I was starting <laughs> to understand what that was all about. Alpaca <laughs> with a machine gun. An alpaca, alpaca with a machine gun. <laughs> I didn't see. Oh, uh, just. 
Oh, the... An the alpaca with people. a machine gun. <laughs> alpaca with a machine gun. Like a gangster alpaca. <laughs> All right, I'm doing an alpaca with a machine gun. Really? Yeah. I've just, I, I instantly, now, see, that just... Have you seen I, what alpacas look like? Yeah. The, the, yes. The big D, right? and then, Yeah, with a... And he's got a... <laughs> He's gonna have a machine gun. We're we're doing that. All right, I gotta. Now, are we giving the alpaca hu- like human hands to hold the machine gun, or are no? We he's gonna, gonna he's gonna gun, just like... he's gonna have it's his his camel toe his, thing. He's camel toe. <laughs> well, he's literally gonna have a camel toe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, alpaca uh, toe. <laughs> hold on, I gotta look up. Um, ah, I gotta I gotta pull up some reference. My reference. The reference of I actually have some sketches of alpacas. alpacas. So you need a reference for alpacas, and you need reference for a machine gun. Never thought I'd say that sentence like that. Look at that. <laughs> you know what? It helps to have gone out and sketched. I sketch all the time. I go out into... There's Vedanta right there. Look at that. Boom. Alpacas. Right there. There's your reference. My reference. They show Vedanta one more time? I didn't have it. Oh, that's a sketch I did of Vedanta. Nice. Where is it? There we go. Right there. Right there. This is a sketchbook I picked up in China. Um, China. China. And, um... I would like to see a badger archaeologist. That's a Twitch comment. Chickens. We went to the farm. We went to a farm one day, Vedanta and I, and we took her kids, and uh, and they had alpacas there. So I can see now. I see because they've just got these big bangs. And I just think it would be really funny to uh, to draw that. And this he's one. Like, but he's a wise guy. Yeah. And this guy. This one here. He was really. Where is it? Gosh, I can't see. Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, he was really poofy. 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 You're just a bit poofy. That was yeah. actually the petting zoo at the ASPCA in Newport News. Yes. It was a really cool petting zoo in Virginia. In Virginia. But um, I want to pull up uh, photographic. How do I... There we go. All right. I need to pull up alpaca. Imagery. <laughs> They're just so idiot looking. <coughs> All right. No. <laughs> I was saying you could draw an alpaca Pegasus. Hold on. Basically, That's, an alpaca with wings. An alpaca Pegasus is funny. Okay, I'm grabbing. Oh, how about we combine the two? An alpaca Pegasus holding a gun. Yeah. And that was my personal idea. Alright. <coughs> Hold on a minute here. Oh, here, here, here. Hang on, here. <laughs> See, you can do any kind of hairstyle with them that you want, too. Uh, and uh, thank you, Haley Clark, for your, for your compliment. Was that? Said, uh, Dustin, I like your accents. <laughs> <laughs> I try my best. Alpacasus. Alpacasus. You know, Alpacasus. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alpacasus. Alpacasus. I like the name of that. But another option is, uh, that song you recommended. Is uh, Dustin being chased by the alpaca? <laughs> so it's really I want to I got to get a profile. I just want to get their anatomy. It's it's kind of camel goat kind of anatomy on the face. Yeah. Sheep. It's basically sheep. <laughs> it's so funny looking. It is a good profile. Oh, that's a cute one. Which one? Oh. That's super cute. Oh my god. Oh, Whoops! What did I just do? The 
who just asked, hangover art today, huh? Hangover art. Well, I'm not hungover. Dustin's hungover. I'm, yeah, I'm the... Uh, I know how to handle my liquor. I Somewhat. don't really do it all that often, so... No, he doesn't. Hard. He doesn't. No, I really don't. <laughs> I kind of got That's a good one right there. Last night. This morning, I regretted it. Yeah, poor guy. Poor guy. All right, so I need a... I need imagery of a machine gun. I don't leave anything. Not machine gun Kelly. <laughs> I was literally just thinking machine gun Kelly. No, just a machine gun. And it gave me machine gun Kelly. So, I'm not a gun guy. But, uh, uh I, I hate guns. Most common weapon would be an AK. AK-47. Uh, whatever. Like, no, like a Bonnie and Clyde type machine gun. Right? Yeah, oh, like a Tommy gun. A Tommy gun. Yeah, that's a Tommy gun. Like the mask. That's an M20. That's a saw right there to the, uh, the upper right there. Hey, a there Tommy gun. Is. Hey, yeah. Tommy there it is. A, a Tommy gun. <laughs> My personal favorite. A Tommy gun. <laughs> <laughs> He's awake now. Oh yeah, yes. I, yeah. The Tommy gun is probably by far one of my one of my favorite guns. Out there. Okay, so we've got the reference we need. Let me jump also, back over. Yeah. I gotta jump over back over to Deep Thoughts. Also, World War Two. Um, sorry, oh. Nick. I wasn't able to Pegasus with babies. I would like to see a Oh, will I do uh, something for the Mermaid Challenge? I will do something. Uh, yeah, I gotta do something for Mermaid. We, we've got all of May to do it. I haven't done any mermaids. May's no, well, yeah, we're halfway through, oh, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back to here. On my front, front and then uh, I need to go front and front, front. All right, so open. I've got to go to my desktop. Here's my screen grabs. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to open these up. Was that a burp? Did you just burp, Dustin? Yeah, it was. <laughs> you sound like you're going to barf. <clears throat> okay. So I need to do this. And don't forget, folks, we've got a flash sale going on. I just need to pull this over here so I can put my reference up. So there's my Tommy gun reference. That's a sweet looking gun. It is. Oh, yeah. So there's that. That gun was also known as the typewriter. Uh, but we've got a flash sale going on at creatureartteacher.com. Remember, it's all... Photoshop brushes are 50% off today only. Man, I love these alpacas. So, they would actually do like a figure eight to, to handle the recoil. Like how do you know these things, Dustin? Look at I that. I love stuff. the history. I love the Tommy gun. I hate guns. I hate them. But I'm going to draw it. All right. There we go. And That's I like this one. But also the mil the military version of the Tommy gun was in uh, World War Two, and that was always my favorite submachine gun. To okay, so I want to do it as a vertical. I think so. I'm going to get rid of this. Don't save. Um, Yes, I want to do a new document. Come on, there we go. An Alpha Gangster. With. Let's make it. Uh, it says he need he needs a tilted hat, the alpaca. Oh, there you go. We need to make him look as like 1920s gangster as possible. Yeah. Is it hard to uh, transition from doing traditional art to digital? Not, not with a Cintiq. I don't think it is at all. 
Um, but if you didn't have a, if you didn't have a Cintiq, like if you had, say, like a, a simple tablet, like on a mouse, like a mouse pad, instead yeah. of a Cintiq, would you say the uh, transition would be, would be tricky? Yeah, it it really depends on the tool. So I, so I, if you've got a, um, if you're working in Procreate on a on a, uh, you know, iPad. with pencil and on an on an iPad, then I. I think it's pretty natural. It, it's a pretty natural transition. So I think it's, you know, pretty cool. 12, sorry, hold on. I got a, I got a 18 by uh, 24. I'll make that 200. Create. There we go. I'll say hello to my little friend, Yzma. Yzma? Yzma. <laughs> All right, sorry this is taking so long. Jeez. All right, uh, I got to get in here. Boom. Hey, Bader, you got to pick up the pace now. I know. Bader. Hey, Bader. 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 So, um, we need Fedora reference, too, don't we? Uh, gangster outfit? A gangster outfit, yep. On, how would you put that on the alpaca, though? Well, we'll put the hat on, at least. I, yeah. And we need the... the <clears throat> oh, yeah, we can give him a little suit and tie. Oh, I like that. Yeah. But only his front legs are dressed and his butt sticking out. Is that I like that a lot. We're gonna we're gonna screen grab that. Yeah. See. I don't know why I like. The, the suit itself... I think th I like this suit. It's making me think of... What, what's the name of that show uh, on Netflix? Peak the uh, Blinders of... Peaky, Peaky Blinders? Oh, Peaky Blinders. yeah, Peaky Blinders. Yeah. Just from, from this... From over Alpacas here. are just goats wearing clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Alpacas are just goats wearing clouds. <laughs> that's super. Yeah, that's that super cute. Stripe suit for sure. Okay, so we got to open up one more file. Open. Screenshot. There he is. Boom. How about there a it is? A cigar. A cigar. I like that outfit, man. A yeah, cigar. Like yeah. So he's going up here. Oh, hell, hell, hell. Well, I gotta make him smaller. Yeah, he is. He's really blown out up there. Yeah. That's there it is. There it is, Shane. All right. We gotta rob the bank right now. All right, so let's start drawing. I gotta figure this one out. An alpaca with a machine gun has turned into an alpaca gangster. which was invented by John T. Thompson. The government was in the process of ordering many guns, and then the war ended. With a warehouse of guns, it was marketed to the general public at home as home security. Jeez. <laughs> so instead of getting little sidearms for, for personal defense, everyone was getting Tommy guns. <laughs> When I first start sketching, a lot of times I like to take note, not have any detail. And, uh, well, that would be a little bit of a crooked nose. Is that 
I wonder if that looks too much like a uh, cowboy hat. I think that looks fun. I think, I think the biggest thing you can do is when you color it in, just blacken it out, big, give it stripes, and also, um, I think it needs always to... have that that one piece of fabric that goes around the uh, yeah the, the main part of the hat. Don't like the way it's sitting on his head though. Let's just draw his hat hair in first. <laughs> Can I read a question? Yeah. There's Jasmine Bevis says, Hello Aaron, I'm two years out of university and still am struggling to get into an illustration based job. Any tips you can give, and I love your work. You know, um, I'm hoping, I don't know, I, I'm hoping that I'm still relevant as far as, you know, what to do. But one of the things I know for social media, if you're getting your stuff out on social media a lot, that I know that helps. Um, and it, I'm, I'm not sure what you are looking for, um, but obviously the demand for whatever job you're looking for is going gonna, is gonna to matter. Um, so if you're looking for a job that where there's not a huge demand, it's going to be hard to find. It's going to be hard to break into. Um, just have you know have the best portfolio you can, and constantly be updating it. Constantly be working. Be versatile as well. Um, you you know you want to be as versatile as you possibly can. Um, so if you can show different styles, I think that helps. There. So you know, keep keep your portfolio current. Make sure it's got the your best work in it. And um, and just don't give up. A Willier advanced animation course include <clears throat> how to add uh, pan backgrounds using TV paint. I'm sorry. One more time. Uh, will your advanced animation course uh, include how to add pan backgrounds using TV paint? Um, we will probably that I, I don't even know how to do that yet. I haven't been able to figure it out, but I will. And um, it out. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're actually going to do an advanced. Uh, it's going to be how to create your own animated short once we have the short done, and that's where all that will be. It'll be part of that there. Um, so we'll, you know, we'll see about that. Um, if, if we figured out, if we end up using that feature, then yeah, you can be guaranteed we'll have that in there. So for sure. Uh, the Storm Dragon on YouTube asks, Hey Aaron, I'm planning on going to college for animation. I was thinking of doing all my basics, getting them out of the way first, then doing my major. But I want to know what you, th if, if you think of that, what I think of that plan. Well, to be honest with you, if you're looking for a degree, then yeah, that's a great thing. Just keep in mind, you know, studios, they don't look at, they're not looking for degrees. They're looking for if you have the ability to draw and paint and sculpt or and model or animate or whatever. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what degree you have. If you can't do the job, they're not going to hire you. So in, in the animation world, the entertainment world, a degree is not important at all. Now, what a degree does do for you is it, you know, um, it just says, well, what it's going to do for you is it's, it's going to give you exposure to, you know, all of those those different disciplines, right? So, you know, that's one thing that, that you know, going to college will do for you in getting a degree. Also, you know, just learning learning the craft of, of animation or I hate using that word craft you, you know the art of animation or whatever it might be but you know don't the degree is not the, the important thing 
there any dates for your uh, gouache, acrylics, and uh, acrylics, versus? acrylics, acrylics. Come acrylics. on, man. Acrylics. <laughs> acrylics. Um, uh, and bird courses. Any uh, date the bird? Well, the bird course I think is going to be our next, our next course. Our next, our next. Yes, our next, our next. All right. Birds of prey. Yeah, birds of prey. Let me get this going. And here. the word raptor means bird of prey. It was when they're, um, it was like the very beginning when they find the Velociraptor skeleton. Oh. And they're looking in the TV, it's like, oh, like, this looks like a, this part looks like a bird, this looks like a bird. Like, even the word raptor means bird of prey. And that's when he, uh, Looking up old mug shots of gangsters, that, that is a cool idea. But I, I kind of want to, I kind of got a handle on it, I think. So you ask, what is it? An alpaca? Yes! I know I'm doing something right. With a Tommy gun. With a Tommy gun. With a Tommy gun. An alpaca with a Tommy gun. All right. Uh, person like, wait, is this a dinosaur? A dinosaur? You we were talking about Velociraptors, Dustin. I think they got confused. I, I think so. So how can we much experience making maquettes no not really i i don't sculpt um i i'd love i love sculpture and it's just not something i've gotten into um, my good friend tony cipriano is a genius a genius he is the genii of the maquette world look him up tony cipriano like and like kent melton kind of kent melton what's that yeah, yeah like that kind of maquette right. yeah Kent Melton is also a really great one. Tony Cipriano, Kent, Kent Melton. All right, so. Can you draw Godzilla? I can draw anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually. With the right reference. <laughs> with, the right, with the right reference, yeah. Actually, it would be a really cool thing to uh, live stream sometime, uh, especially when uh, the Godzilla movie comes out or when it's about to come out, because that's right around the corner. What do you think of that idea? Good idea. That's a good idea, huh? That's a good idea right there. All right, so I've got the rough drawing of... An alpaca with a machine gun. Maybe you could show his uh, lower teeth somehow. <laughs> Nick just sent me a pink alpaca with a very suave hairdo dancing. <laughs> <laughs> that is a uh, interesting gif. <laughs> All right, so now to tie this baby down. This is fun. I like this one today. Good suggestion, whoever suggested this. I'm going to flare his nostril. I'm Emperor's New Groove, but in the 1920s. An alpaca who's packing? <laughs> hey! I like that is the new title. An alpaca who's packing. Yep. Like for a trip? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for a trip. <laughs> You're such a girl. <laughs> that was funny. So he says, still waiting for Sasquatch Dustin. Oh, yeah. Well, I think, that, I think that time has kind of went away since I cut my hair. Yeah. 
You're sounding better, Dustin. You a little less hungover? I'm doing all of my power to sound uppy. <laughs> oh, to sound... Chipper? Chipper. Chipper. I think the food did help. He looks like he's out of like a, a 20s movie, a gangster movie, right? Yeah. And he's like, get out of here, you crazy dame. <laughs> Come on here, Shane. You throw off my groove. So we need a little bit of the. Give him a like uh, a cheesy Dick Tracy name, like Frankie Flat Top or Tony Two Teeth. <laughs> Nick says there seems to be a huge variety of alpaca hairstyles. Yes, there is. YouTube question. Have you ever taken any creative writing classes to help you improve your story, world building, character design? I absolutely have. Yes. I took uh, the course from Robert McKee called Story. I did that years ago in Los Angeles. Um... I've read many books on script writing and um, and character building, like you said, and then you know just the process of directing a movie over the you know a period of six years. You also learn from your peers in those six years. Six years. So you know there is a lot. There's a lot that I've done that's helped me um, over the years. I like this gangster name that somebody recommended. Fur Neck Tony. Fur Neck Tony. Any of you guys seen Fur Neck Tony around here? What do you say to those who don't think art should be in schools? I tell them they're an idiot. Tell them to go put their card away. You sure are an idiot. <laughs> it's not a very good argument, but it's the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> It absolutely is. They want to keep football and, the, and all the sports, but then get rid of all the arts. There we go. Does anybody recommend uh, maybe a little smoke coming from the barrel? Oh, hey, good idea. Or both. Both from the cigar and the barrel. Maybe you just knock somebody off with that. Hey, just whacked a guy. Hey, Tony just whacked a guy. Hey, Fern Neck Pony just whacked the guy. You had a trident. <laughs> you killed him. I'm going to lay low for a while. Tony just killed a guy with a Tommy gun. Change the leash. The alpaca is really packing. <laughs> All right, so we're getting a good drawing in. Slowly. Or I should say the final drawing. I don't mean good. I mean, that's subjective. Does this character have a wife? Um, you know what? I don't think he does. Someone else has a tattoo on the neck? Uh, it's under the fur. Uh, I, 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 and I don't think a 1930s gangster yeah, is going to have a... Nah, he it's, maybe a little he would, tear. Maybe a little tear drop. <laughs> he would not have a tattoo expo, like, exposed yeah, right. on the neck. It would, on his chest or something. Like on his chest, on his back. 
like. Well, it depends the on the character. In the 20s, He's a classy gangster. Yeah, the tattoos in the twenties, they usually kept them pretty close to the chest, pretty like on the back, on the chest, so that way they can still work all these businesses without. Um, what's the word? Um, eh. <laughs> How you doing what? there, hangovery? Can you recommend brushes for a beginner in graphic drawing? Um, brushes for a beginner. I think they mean digital. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the brush I'm using is great. I use this for everything. And uh, it's, it's great. Um, and you can get it. If you head on over to my website, creatureartteacher.com. No, you can get it, though. If you sign up for our uh, newsletter, um, you'll get it for free. This brush I'm using right now. It's a really good brush. I made it a few years ago and it's the only brush I use. Say hello to my furry friend. That's someone wrote. I feel like this should be this could be pushed. Huh? I feel like this could be pushed a lot more. I think we lost Nick. Oh there it is. What it was your favorite thing in each European country you visited this month? Holy mackerel. My favorite thing in each European country? Well, that's a lot. Well, in England, um, it was uh, the countryside, I just think, is absolutely beautiful. And um, and the pubs and the Guinness. I was going to say Ireland Guinness. and Guinness, right? And then in Ireland, we really didn't get a chance to go out and do anything except drink Guinness. So it was the pubs and the Guinness. <laughs> and then in Denmark, uh, we were only there for a couple of days. The horses? That was scotch. The scotch was awesome. Oh, <laughs> no, the horses were great. The wild, they were wild horses, right? Yeah. I had some 20-year-old 20, 20 scotch that was just, oh my God, with my friend Klaus Toxvig. It was really good. And then uh, Seville. And Seville, Spain. The tapas was, you know, the food was good. I had these anchovies, um, these, you know, fried whole fish, you know, little fish. That I couldn't stop eating. And the cervezas. The cervezas were good. And you got to meet a Facebook friend. And my friend Francisco Hernandez. Uh, we, we met up. Uh, he's a, a fellow wild, excuse me, wildlife artist. And uh, that was awesome. Maybe it's off topic. But what do you think about the uh, character design of the new Sonic movie? <laughs> Nerds. Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I I don't know. I don't I don't know Sonic enough to have an opinion on it. He looks a little weird. His eyes aren't big enough. He, he looks too human. Well, I just I just feel man. like if he's a hedgehog, why doesn't he have spines instead of fur pointed and well, that's clumps, the original design. clumps of pointed it's fur? But his legs are too long. He looks too much like a dude with a, with a you know. I don't his know. His head should be bigger, I think, compared to his body. They're supposedly uh, reworking it because of all the criticism they've gotten. Yeah, they... They're reworking yeah. his whole design. It's like, isn't the movie almost made? Uh, I know Nick is friends with the director. Nick might know more than me, than us. I think Nick went to school with the director. Uh, what about Poland? Are you going to visit us at some point? I, yes, at some point we will. We don't have plans on the table right near, now to come to Poland. But um, I met uh, a few people that came to, that have come to some of my lectures from Poland. And, um, and I, and so I know, you know, we have a, we have a, a an audience there. I didn't know I had an audience there. So that, that makes me very happy. And uh, so we're going to go, um, we will be going at some point. I gotta, I'm, I'm actually going to Moscow at the end of the month to speak at an animation convention there. That one I'm, I'm pretty excited about. I've never been to, to Moscow or Russia. Um, but yeah, Poland would be awesome. 
Katie so. Baird writes, ever considered Central America? Yes, I've always considered it. I considered it an awesome place. Beyond that, what do you mean? <laughs> no, Central yeah. America. I mean, there's all. We'd love to come to Costa Rica, Panama. Um, I've done talks in Colombia, so you know, kind of northern South America. Mexico. Um, done talks in Mexico. Um, I want to do stuff in Peru. I know we got a good following in Peru, and uh, but Central. Arg. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with this drawing a little bit. Um, Argentina as well. I know that's not Central America. I'm kind of going way down south. But uh, um, definitely want to do some stuff down there. But, uh, uh, but as far as C Central America goes, I definitely would. Costa Rica, especially. I really want to get down into Costa Rica and, and, and Where, see. Is Belize Central? Belize is off of the Mexican coast. Okay. So I don't know if that would be considered Central America. Uh, any plans uh, for India? Well, it's funny you say that. We are currently talking about starting our own master classes. And one of the countries we would like to go to uh, and get together with our friends Lilo Rosh uh, is India. And so we're in very early stages of just talking about it. Nick and I are talking about it. We haven't even uh, gotten together with Lilo, Lilo Rosh yet. Lilo Rosh. But um, uh, we would love to get together and, and do something uh, and do a little tour of India. We've got a great following in India. And uh, we'd love to get together with everybody there and... and, and you know, do some do some stuff. I think it would be awesome. Did you know Tim Conway just died? Oh, really? No, I didn't know that. Thanks for ruining my day. <laughs> I'm kidding. Who's Tim Conway? From Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett. Oh, really? Yeah. He was awesome. The guy was so fun. I wonder if I should make the hat bigger. It's feeling a bit even. Everything's feeling a bit even. Let me see. Maybe it had super tiny instead. Maybe. <laughs> Any plans for Wales or Scotland? Um, yes, actually, we are talking to a, and I, um, I haven't even told, told Nick about this yet, but, uh, one of the guys we met while we were in, uh, actually, I do like that better. One of the guys we met, uh, while, uh, in London, uh, is looking to do an animation festival next year, 2020 in Scotland. And, um, and... Uh, and I'm, I think it, it sounds really interesting. So, uh, hey, Nick, you want to go to Scotland? Scotland! <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, see, I like that better. That feels a little better. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah. I like that. You like it a lot. I like it a lot. So is it Pakato? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nick says he already knows about it. Good. Our friend Doug. Our friend Doug. Do of your master classes have uh, student works uh, critiqued or reviewed? Yes, that's one of the things we're talking about doing. So for those folks out there that have been asking about us doing uh, reviews and critiques and all that kind of stuff, um, we are, Nick and I are in the early stages of putting together uh, a couple of master classes here in Orlando um, in August. And we're looking to maybe do two full weekends, two separate weekends, um, at least one. 
and um, and part of that will be portfolio reviews. Um, but we'll be talking. I'll have uh, several things that I'll be talking about: character design, uh, my persistence of vision lecture. Um, we'll be talking about creature design, animation, all kinds of stuff. And so that's going to be in August. There we go. All right, so uh, now that it's been almost an hour and all I've gotten done is the drawing. Uh, any conventions in uh, England that you might be attending? I just got back from England, so it's going to be a little while before we go. Uh, our net, well, I take that back. I'm going back to England in July. But that's for our, that's for, yeah, that's for our workshop that's already sold out. So um, Peckforton Castle up in uh, Cheshire, it's near Manchester, and uh, um, we are... 25 lucky people. Yeah, it's 25 people joining us at Peckforton Castle. Ronnie Williford and myself will be teaching uh, plein air painting, watercolor going out and about and, and animal drawing it's a four day four day uh, workshop and we all stay at the castle together so it's going to be a lot of fun so that'll be our next time coming into England and then after that uh, we don't have any plans so, so please bring Dustin too when you come to in India it's more fun if you guys are together <laughs> no it's not no it's very boring <laughs> of course we'll bring Dustin Last night was not boring. No, last night oh, was not boring. Oh, please don't bring that up. <laughs> no, I'm just saying the drinks and the laps. It was a good time. And it, it, it was a fun night, don't get me wrong. It's just the next morning is the, is the suffering part. At least for me it is. Hold on. Stay there. Keep talking. Don't do what you think I'm... What? Keep talking. <laughs> Keep talking. Keep talking. You said keep talking, Dustin. Keep. We have to keep talking. We, I know we, we have to keep talking. talking. We, we have to keep talking somehow. we got to keep this stream going. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. Oh, God, why? This bottle was full. Did I really drink and that much? You drank all of that. We this drank bottle. Vodka. That's all. Yeah, yeah that, that, was all all, that was all you, Dustin. God. Yeah, I'm not a big promoter of drinking. I know I have a lot of young viewers out there, so don't drink if you're underage. Oh. I Do not. I, I never saw the aftermath of, my, of, of that drink. But I am a big. I'm a believer in good times with family, friends. It doesn't always have to be alcohol, so don't don't get me wrong. So, but man, we had a good time last night. As you could see. Safely yeah. in the comfort of our own backyard. Safely in the comfort of our own backyard. We were not driving anywhere. <laughs> we just had, we ended up having a nice dinner, and then we said, "Hey, let's go out back and just hang out and listen to music. yeah, listen to music and talk." And next thing you know, it's two o'clock in the morning, and Dustin's laughing and talking snuggling. and <laughs> snuggling and telling me how much he loves me. I didn't go that far. Yeah, you, you did. did. You always do. That's what I love about Dustin when he. When he imbibes, he always tells me how much he no, loves me. you told him that your whole career, you were thanking him for giving him well, the first yeah. opportunity. Well, yeah. I you remember don't remember that. saying, I love you, though. No. <laughs> okay, maybe you didn't. I, yeah, I don't he know. always does. <laughs> I, I love it. Don't drink and draw. Oh, no. I, actually, drinking and drawing makes me sick. It makes you sick? Yeah, it makes me sick. I've always wondered what would what would happen if an artist got drunk and tried to draw all drunk. Who is that? You or is that it's someone saying that? No, no, me. It's that's, a bunch that's, of my lines. that's my personal thought. That's my personal thought. It's just a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> if I'm at a bar overseas somewhere and it comes up that I'm a, a Disney ex Disney animator, usually by the time that that comes up. I've had a few, and then they ask me to draw something, and it's always a mess. Always a mess? Always. I can't draw well, uh, after having been drinking.
Drunk drawing is what that big button is for. <laughs> undo? The undo button? <laughs> The, the, the April Fool's easy button. Oh, <laughs> create art. Well, Make art. <laughs> that was a fun video, but I look like a deer in headlights in that video. Oh, God. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. So I don't have to get up again and leave my leave uh, my my yes. lovely audience. Can I ask you one big favor? Can I get a... It's hot in here. Can I get a glass of ice water? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, my love. Uh, <clears throat> so, let's give him a brown hat, shall we? Yes? A brown hat? Yeah. Actually, I think it should, should be matching a hat to the suit. Do you? That's what I was wondering. Is yeah. it going to feel too monochromatic? I personally think the suit... And the suit's going to have, have striped. Yeah, the suit should have stripes, and the hat should have should be black with stripes, too. Because a lot, cause a lot of gangsters had a full match set. All right. See, this guy, he's got a brown hat and a striped suit. And it looks pretty good, I think. This guy here. You think it should match, though, huh? Yeah, I personally think it should match. All right, I'll roll with you. The hat and the suit should match. <laughs> Sound like one of those. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? <laughs> we lost Nick again. Nick, do the thing. Here you go, babe. Nick, do thank the you. Welcome. Why'd you put a top on it? Oh, so it wouldn't spill. Here, I get it. Yeah, on Super thirsty. Hmm? Super thirsty. Do you have any tips on painting fur? Is it best to start with a darker color underneath? Well, the thing about fur is just don't don't get into drawing um, individual hairs. That's not you know you don't want to do that. Um, the thing about fur is creating, you're drawing the shapes, the clumps that the fur creates. So, um, and a lot of times, you know, fur clumps together and creates valleys between the clumps. And those are the dark areas. And so, sure, if you want to start in the dark areas and work light, then that's definitely a method. Um, but really just, the biggest thing is draw, you know, draw the shapes, draw the, the, the shape the clump shapes of fur that's that's the key to doing it and then you in certain areas you'll break that up and just show a few details of fur um, but other than that you don't really need uh, there we go uh, a lot of individual hair detail Catherine Crowley says since he's an alpaca does he use his own sheddings to make his clothes Ooh. Oh, did you already say that? Oh, no. I didn't say that, but I was going I was going to say that one. No, his alpaca wife. Oops. Oh, he doesn't have a wife. His girlfriend? His fiance. His fiance. His fiance. Makes his clothes for him out of his own hair. Background could be a brick wall a la uh, St. Valentine's Day Massacre. That's a great idea, actually. You can keep the change, you filthy animal. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Meanwhile, the pack is right next to him. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there bullet holes all in the, in the wall or something? Keep the change, you filthy animal. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm just... Creating local color. And the hat band and tie match to add color. Yes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually add some patterning too. YouTube uh, question: Will you be doing something Lion King related when the new movie comes out? I loved when you revised Beauty and the Beast. You know what? Yes, we are. Did you revise um, uh, Young Nala? One? I did. Yeah, I did. I did a, a revised Young Nala, which she would look like. Uh, with realistic textures. 
Right. So the hat, how would the hat, how would the hat be striped? Striped fedora. How, how would they, how would mm -hmm. it stripe? Um, Let long me, ways? Yeah, I don't, I, well, I don't know. I feel That's like it just, it's not striped. Not, no, no. You've striped would, fedoras? Yeah, I actually had a pin striped uh, fedora hat back then. It was one of those short, short brim ones. But, um, it would. Is that like a diagonal? Yeah, it was, it was somewhat diagonal. And uh, the same I don't like it. No. I think just the ribbon has to be special. Maybe the ribbon's striped. There's one, right? I thought I just saw one. Scroll, scroll forward. Uh, I can, I can kind of try this. Let me see. So it writes feather in the hat? Feather in the hat. Because fedoras like that were known to have feathers, although I think that was specifically to, um... I thought that was more bluesy guys. Not, really. not just bluesy, uh, zoot suit. Zoot suit, okay. Yeah, I think zoot suits were known to have the feather in the hat, but... Feather in the hat? I don't think Al Capone ever wore a feather in his hat. Yeah, I think it was just, just a standard, standard fedora, not a zoot suit, a uh, fedora. Because zoot suit fedoras were known to be much larger, have feathers in the hat, basically very, very big, very flashy. Argh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. It's got to come up and over, and then there's actually a like a stripe pattern inside there, and then I don't like it. I'm not putting stripes on the hat. Not doing it. Sorry, okay. Dustin. Okay. But okay. what I will do on is jacket, put though, right? put stripes on the band. Yeah, somebody somebody did say just stripe just uh, stripe the band. The band white stripes. Uh-huh. <laughs> there. There you go, Shady. That's looking clashy, very clashy. Somebody's suggesting uh, thinner pinstripes. I can understand what they're coming in. That's what I'm doing on his suit right now. Yeah. Shoit! Pinstripe suit, some of that is just so debonair or classy. Yeah, except I, yeah. Oh, I got to go back to Nick. Nick, 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 Probably losing our audience. I'm super boring today. No. No. It's me. Yeah, it's no, you. it's me. No, it's me. I'm too hungover. I didn't have bad luck, you know. I didn't have no luck at all. Okay, there's his. There's his outfit. I'm gonna put the stripes. My hangover is bringing bad luck. I like this smiley face. You are the best, Aaron. 
I love them all. <laughs> and someone mentioned how they love your zombie bear. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Remember zombie the bear. Halloween. That, Halloween. One was, that one was super popular. That was that was a fun time. All right, so we got the we got the outfit. We got his basically. Let me get his Tommy gun. It's basically gonna be the same color as the. Uh, yeah, you met the cartoon saloon guys in uh, in Kilkenny, right? I did. Huh? I did. How did that go? Awesome. Those guys are fantastic. And the studio is awesome. And I saw my old friend John Walsh, who I hadn't seen since our Disney days together. Way back in the day. Yeah. So I, I really liked, I really, uh, the city of Kilkenny, I really loved. Nick and I were saying how if we ever had an opportunity to make a movie there that, you know, living in Kilkenny for a couple of years would be awesome. Travis just joined. Travis Blazinski, my brother. Yep. One and only. Travis Blaze. Travis oh, Blaze is in Seattle. For Did those you get some puppies or something? For those of you that don't know my brother, he's a story artist in Seattle, Washington. And he just joined the party. So I'm creating this thing here. What's the matter, Dustin? I'm just grabbing another drink. I'm grabbing something else. A little dehydrated today? Huh? You a little dehydrated <laughs> today? Just a little. a little. More than a little. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, YouTube question. Aaron, how do you give expressions to crocodiles or long-nosed lizards? I've been trying to animate a dragon with a very long snout. Um, well, hold on one second and I'll show you. The key is to get the corner of the mouth up by the eyes. Because it does help with clarity in the expression. So let's say, oops, if I was to move, uh, hold on, I'm talking about expressions on crocodiles. So if you can get, you know, if you can get the corner of the mouth up by the eyes, then it helps, it helps with expression that way. Um, if you, if you're drawing a dragon. Say the dragon's got a long, you know, you can do, you can do smile, like so. You can do, whoops, you can do a frown, like so. But the key is to get that so it feels like the corner of the mouth and around the eye is connected. Okay, if you can get that, then if you have a small mouth on a character, let's say we're doing something like that, it's harder, but you can still get, you can still get expression. The, the hard part is the smile. If you have something, yeah, you know, it just never feels like it's big enough. So in which case you want to just go, you know, big, but get that, get that up by the corner of the, by the eye and it connects it and it feels more anthropomorphic like so YouTube question do you prefer animating alongside dialogue or do you prefer pure acting animation I like dialogue dialogue really gives me something to um, 
it gives me something to work off of. It, it gives me the cues that I need. I like pure acting. I mean, I like pantomime. Um, it's fun. But dialogue just gives it an extra dimension. I, uh, plus, I, I just actually enjoy animating lip sync. I just think it's fun. When you do it right, uh, it looks good. And it just gives the animation more reality and depth. And uh, so I enjoy doing that. So I enjoy dialogue more than just pure pantomime. If I was to move to Florida from the UK, are there any studios there? Uh, in Florida? Not that I know of. But it shouldn't stop you from being able to freelance. I mean, I, we have a lot of people in the animation industry living in Florida that freelance. So I'm one of them. Well, I don't freelance anymore because uh, my whole business is exactly what I'm doing with you guys right now. But uh, but there are, but I was freelancing. So where are the big studio areas? L.A. Los Angeles. And then what about Blue Sky? Is that Blue Sky? Well, Blue Sky there? Blue Sky is kind of an anomaly because it's it's all by itself. It's really the only studio. It's up in Connecticut. In that area. So there is our base color. I'm just erasing back some of the original underdrawing that I did. Just to get that color a little bit more pure. Isn't it rude to ask someone to draw your character for free? Uh, no. Anybody can ask me anything. You can ask me how much money I make a year. It doesn't mean I'm going to answer you. Or draw for you, although I do like to draw for people. So I get a lot of people asking me to draw my characters for them, and I, I do it all the time, but I enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to add, I want to add a little bit of dimension to this guy. Whoops, I got it. Smaller studios like Premise Entertainment are in Orlando, but don't know if they're hiring. Exactly. Premise, I, I think really, uh, that's Dom Carolla, my buddy Dom Carolla, his studio. Uh, first of all, it's an awesome studio. Dom is such a great guy. He's a great businessman, but he's a great, um, he's just a great guy to work for and work with. Um, he's just, he's super, super cool. And, um, and really empathizes with the artists and, uh, cause he's, you know, he, he's been on both sides of it, you know, the boss side and the, and the artist side. So he's, he's great to work with. Um, but yeah, they, they kind of, they tend to go project to project. So the, the studio blows up and shrinks depending on the project. But we did, when we did the bear and the hair commercial for John Lewis Christmas, uh, advert, that was with Premise Studios. Dom and I did that together, along with a bunch of ex-Disney folks, a lot of our friends. Uh, Nick says you should add... Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, my, my, what I do is I, I draw for people in person, when I see them in person. So <laughs> uh, we don't want to get bombarded with emails for me to draw, draw characters for you, because I, I, that I can't do. That'd be too many. When I see you in person, when I'm at a convention or at a speaking engagement, um, anybody that comes up to me and asks me to draw for them, I do it. And you're not going to copy someone else's drawings. And I don't copy other people's drawings. You're do your own yeah, and don't come up to me and ask me to draw your pet. Because <laughs> usually there's about 100 people behind you. And uh, so I'm going to draw something that I know really fast in about 15 seconds. When I see you in person, I will draw a character for you for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> there, so here I'm just adding a little bit of fur color. Should I put uh, tomato sauce or raw cheese on my pasta tonight? <laughs> um, I think you should put both. It's funny you bring that up. Dustin is finishing up uh, editing a new video. I love to cook, by the way, for those of you that don't know. Uh, Vedanta loves to cook. It's one of the reasons we make a good match. Um, but um, I've lately, in the last few months, I've gotten into making my own pasta, homemade pasta. 
and I really started thinking about seeing parallels between the simplicity of, of pasta and how good it tastes, but all the work that goes into it, um, and drawing, how drawing is so simple and looks so good, if you, you can appreciate it, but there's so much work that goes into drawing as far as years of training, and so we decided to kind of do both in a video, and it came out really cool, didn't it, Dustin? Yeah. So, so, yeah, so I, uh, I did some drawing and made pasta, and we cut it all together, and it's... So we're going to have that video coming out soon. It's pretty neat. And we're, we were experimenting It's one of the reasons I'm the, gained uh, so much weight. Huh? So it's one of the reasons I'm so fat. <laughs> it's, it's food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, for the video, we, we experimented with uh, uh, with my new camera, with the different lenses. We wanted to try different depths of field. Yeah, it was awesome. All right, so I'm going to add shadows now. I'm going to multiply... A new layer on top, set it to multiply. I'm going to go with a warm shadow. No, I'm going to go with a cool shadow. Go with a cool shadow. Cool shadow. If you're able to animate a Disney villain, which one would it be? Maleficent. Maleficent. Oh, my favorite villain. Yeah, mine too. I loved Maleficent. I thought she was awesome. She's the only villain in Disney that summons all the powers of hell. Yeah. Literally, she says, I summon all the powers of hell. That's that's pretty evil. Yeah. She's so cool looking. Who designed her? Uh, I don't know who designed her. I don't know. Uh -huh, Rivers is cooking. <laughs> Just got a picture of Rivers, who is Nick's son. And he is stirring today. He's stirring something. Yes, Selena is an incredible cook. Nick, not so much. <laughs> Nick can't smell. Nick has an inability to smell, so... Don't trust anybody that won't eat strawberries. Yeah, and don't trust anybody that won't eat strawberries, exactly. What camera did Dustin get? I'm looking at options. Dustin? I was taking a drink real quick. <laughs> um, Dustin, <laughs> I got myself the um, Canon Rebel T6. Actually, I have it in the other room. Let me go grab it. And Mark Davis designed Maleficent. Oh, design? Mark! Yeah, Mark Davis, one of the original 90 men. I met Mark Davis years ago before he passed away. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you for whoever put that information. I got it. Oh, you did. On the phone. Oh well, thank you. Mark Davis is a genius. Really great artist. Rivers is making pancakes. He just ate a double uh, quarter pounder. We've seen that the pancakes sound tasty too. Okay, so I'm giving him some shadow. Here, the ear is casting a shadow. His chin is casting a shadow down. Here, this will all cast shadow his shirt. Actually, I'm gonna. You know what? Let's do it like he's lurking in the shadows. I know it's my usual thing that I always do. You know, have a shadow come across the character. But I think in this case, it's the right thing to do. What are your thoughts about Angelina uh, Jolie playing uh, Maleficent? In, uh, in the current live action films, including the one that's coming out soon. I thought she was great. I think she's a, you know, I think she's a kooky person, but I think she's a great actress. But I, I, I shouldn't say that, because I don't know her in person, so I don't know. But doesn't she, didn't she, just she, seems kooky. Didn't she and uh, Billy Bob, like, wear each other's blood yeah. around their necks? <laughs> that's kind of kooky. And then she had the thing with her, um, her and her brother, the weird thing. Was she like making out with them yeah, or something? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Little, she's not a bird. <laughs> it's just a little weird. A very old bed. Uh, 
let's see. Uh, here, here, here. Permis Entertainment, Entertainment says, thank you, Rockstar. We actually have you on the big screen today as we're doing our work. <laughs> nice. Oh, see, you never know who's listening. Always say nice things. Because <laughs> if I told you what I really felt about Dom Carolla, then hey. <laughs> <laughs> <You're real. laughs> no, that guy's a real jerk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dom's awesome. Libby Cherry just joined. Hey, hey, Libby Cherry. From California? Riverside, California. She must have just got off her shift. Have you ever considered drawing a Game of Thrones dragon or character uh, for these live streams? Yes, actually. Well, not for the live stream, but we do. I want. I want to do the whole. Uh, maybe I shouldn't even say it because I don't. I want to. I want a surprise, but I'd like to do. I'll say it anyway. Yeah. I want to do the lineup as animals. Yeah, but hopefully someone won't do that now. But please don't do it if you just heard me say that. I want to. I want to do it. Please no. It's all real. Uh, I got the Nickelodeon jingle in my head now. <laughs> Nick, Thanks, Nick, 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 Nick,
<laughs> kidding. No, dra Nick draws a lot. He just um, when you're running the the website. There's only so much. Oh, he 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 runs the website so I can draw. Then no, uh, there's not a lot of drawing that he's able to do. He graduated Ringling School of Art and Design. Nick graduated Ringling School of Art and Design with a degree in animation. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. Fancy schmancy. Yes, he does. It would be cool to have Nick on one of the live streams. Somebody commented. It would actually, but Nick, Nick, I think Nick relishes in being, being kind mysterious. of an enigma, mysterious. Yes. He'd have to he, wear like a Warshak. He's a or he's a man of mystery. He is le mystique. He's the uh, man behind the throne, and or the uh, the man behind the curtain, right? Yeah. What what uh. They're the, uh, the what are they saying, Brother Bear? Uh, brother Bear, not Brother Bear, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, oh, oh Brother Bear. Where Art Thou, uh, <laughs> not Brother Bear, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to put a shadow on his hat. Kind of the power behind the throne. Yeah, kind of the power behind the throne, so to speak. Oh, That's what, okay. Yeah. That's what Everett says. Soggy bottom boys. Soggy bottom boys. Not a great movie. Oh, such a good movie. My favorite movie. <laughs> I love in the concert scene when he does when he's doing the chicken dance between each verse. Oh yeah. Okay, so I just corrected the spelling of my name, no big deal, and then someone write, Ask Vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> I love birds. My favorite animal is probably like a, a falcon or a um, a hawk. A hawk? If I were an animal it would be a bird. Vendetta. Vendetta. She's got a vendetta. I, mean, for, I spelled it vendetta. correctly and everything, and then they literally wrote V E N D E T T A. <laughs> You're a V for vendetta. V for vendetta. I've never heard that. <laughs> All right. Did you have Terminator light between the light and sh and the shadow? Terminator light? Like a Terminator eye, I think. Oh, no. I don't think that's what it means. I think. People are suggesting background. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right um, now. They said street lights or brick wall. Yeah. City. That's exactly what I'm doing. City uh, hold on one second. And you know. someone asked a while ago, um, any idea of when they'll be start being able to sign up for the master classes? A goal, maybe? No, we don't. We're, it's going to be this month. We're hoping to have sign up start this month. Oh, Nick says, in fairness to that person, the person trying to write your name, Vedanta, yeah. Nick says, autocorrect tries to change your name all the time with him. You just have a weird name. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, <clears throat> YouTube sorry. comment. I thought Nick was just a computer program like Jarvis or HAL 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Make coding button. He's just a button. Make website work. So we have the website up and running. Yeah. My favorite Disney movie, I'm just going to take this one, is um, Sleeping Beauty because of the backgrounds. Oh, yeah. The oh, someone asked you what your favorite Disney movie yeah. is? Yeah. What the hell? This is my show. What's going on here? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What about a neon sign upper screen right? Like like an extra colorful glow. Well, let's see here. I'm actually trying Ooh. to do drinks are free. Another person wrote a casino background? Yeah, I want to keep it simple. This is all about the character. 
How will you announce master class signups as open? Uh, we'll yeah we'll, we'll probably announce it on a live stream and and uh, on uh, 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 open. Jeez, uh, uh, what is happening with me? The the website. I thought I was the only one hungover today. We're not hungover. I just can't get my brain to work. You are drawing though. You're the best. Yes, that's true. Thanks, honey. With the with the brain. <laughs> hey, kid. Hey. hey, kid. If they're looking at looking your at hair, hair then, we'll and, and we're in big trouble. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. I don't <laughs> sell like that. Hey, kid. I don't sell anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, uh, would you mind if, if, us, if we still... If you're still learning animation, we try to animate one of your character designs. I think I'd be or honored. That, I would be honored by that. Or would that be a copyright infringement? No, it's not copyright infringement. I don't care. I think it'd be awesome. I don't care. I don't care. Nice character. This will be on your YouTube, right? Yeah. I'm going to round out that hat shadow. Don't forget about the uh, glowing... The, the smoke and barrel. I smoke know, and just gotta let me get to it, impatient person. I'm not, I'm not I'm, gonna let you get to it. I'm, letting, I'm making you do it right now. Impatient person watching. Next time we'll let Dustin do the drawing. In 12 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> no, like 30 seconds later. There, I did a drawing. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? It's a stick figure. <laughs> Arg! Here we go. All right, I gotta get I gotta get this thing going. All right, so let's let's just start let's start painting now. I gotta work this thing. Oh, you know what we need? I need my secondary light. Your rim light. My rim light. You know how I like rim lights. Dustin, do you know Glenn Keane in person? Dustin. I. I saw him for a split second uh, when we went to see when when I went to see Tim for the first time the the other year. But I think I introduced you to Glenn. Maybe not. No, I don't think you ever have. I was gonna say it maybe one of the rap parties, but you've never you weren't there. Oh. But uh, I know that YouTube you comment. Why does it remind me of an angry Owen Wilson? <laughs> wow! 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 <laughs> Pretty good, Dustin. Wow. Wow. Let's, let's do the room light. This is the second person that says that this character should be in Zootopia, like a villain. Yeah. In Zootopia. I like the, the Zootopia designs are so much better. I was thinking about Zootopia when I was doing this. Man, um, what's his name? I forget. Oh, I'm draw, I feel like an idiot now. I forgot, I forgot his name, the character designer on Zootopia. Um, oh, come on, Aaron. I'm an idiot. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of his. Anyway, I think he's a genius. So freaking good. Dustin, you, you and your dad should do an animal YouTube series. Aaron and Dust in the Wild. <laughs> that would be cool. Borja Montoro? No? Hmm? Um, no. Maybe I'm thinking of the art director. I don't like that. Ugh. <laughs> No, he says his official name is Lama Wilson. Lama, Lama, Lama Ding Dang. <laughs> you ever see this the video for Star of um, Star Wars and the big lightsaber battle uh, between Maul and the two Jedi, but they took out all the lightsaber clashes and they changed them to Wild to Owen Wilson Wilds. <laughs> wow! 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 <laughs> Nick Orsi? No. Utopia character designer. He may have been one of them. Maybe he was. I don't know. I'm thinking of someone else. 
Lindsay says one of the Zootopia animators created Lucas the Spider. I did not know Yes, that. that I did know. I did not know that. I feel so out of the loop. Uh, Corey Loftus. Corey Loftus, thank you. I'm a huge fan of Corey Good Loftus. Time to try. Yeah, the guy's a genius. I don't know, Dustin, know that your impersonations are priceless. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And online, even though the Zootopia is a, that's a 3D, 3D movie, right? Yeah. All the yeah. designs, the original designs are all 2D, like, cartoony drawings. Yeah, yeah, them. that's exactly that's right. They start, starts, right. They start out yeah, as just drawings. Starts, yeah, it always starts 2D. And Byron Howard, the one of the directors of Zootopia, he and I, we worked together on Mulan. Byron Howard has got one of the greatest personal stories of how he came up through animation. It's amazing. First of all, the guy is an incredible genius. And he started in Florida in the tour corridor. He was one of the tour guides. They couldn't get a job in the, in, the, in the studio, so he took a job in the tour corridor. And um, he would uh, come to figure drawing classes and you know all of the classes that we offered. And he ended up getting an internship. Got in and breezed breezed through the internship and um, very quickly became uh, an animating assistant which is when he came and worked with me on Mulan and then was very quickly promoted to animator and um, uh, and then started doing story work as well and from there um, you know I, I was always a huge fan of his animation he's just genius so we made him the supervising animator of Kenai in uh, Brother Bear and then um, uh, when the studio shut down in Florida he went to California and started working in story and um, did some amazing stuff on Bolt and I think was like a co-director or, or I can't remember what his position was but it was it was really kind of up there and then became co-director of Tangled because of his work on Bolt he was just amazing and then went on to co-direct Zootopia and won the Oscar started out as a tour guide in the animation tour pretty amazing stuff I'm a huge fan of of uh, as you can probably tell I'm a huge fan of Byron all right wow wow, wow. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding lighter areas in the shadow. You know, even though you have shadow, you're still going to have areas that are lighter and darker. You'll have, you know, varying levels of light. You'll have reflected light. You'll have all kinds of things happening in there. And I'm going to add another layer and set it to multiply because you'll have areas that go much darker, like in the nostril. Wouldn't that cigar cause, uh, um, cause uh, make its own light? It will. Because of the lit. Yep, it will. When I get to it. I'm just wondering why you put a highlight around the, the tip of the cigar. like. Oh, because of the ash. But there, I'm, I'm going to have some in between the ash. You'll see some light. Between the ash? Between between, the ash. Right between the ash. <laughs> <laughs> right between the ash. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> the other the other one? Jim, so Jackson, about Jim Jackson destroying Jim Jackson. Jim. Good old Jim Jackson, the eleventh man to ever walk on the moon. That's right. The eleventh man. A lot of people don't know that about Jim Jackson. Jim Jackson is an animation genius. For those of you that are watching, look up Jim Jackson. I uh, I try to mention him in almost every lecture that I do around the world. Jim and I have been not just co-workers, 
but best friends since 1990. Was it buddies? Yep. Ooh, that's interesting. He's my brother. That's From another mother. So, uh, look him up. Jim is a, a uh, is an animator up at Blue Sky. I guess he's just joined the party, and uh, he's an animation genius. And he really and, and uh, he's an awesome lead singer. He was our lead singer in our band at Disney. And uh, he doesn't mean Mick Jagger. Kirk Michael just gave me a new challenge. I am totally ruining this. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all this added light and it's I'm doing way too much of it. So I'm going to redo this. And be more tasteful it, with it. it. Just going to start the whole the drawing completely over from scratch. Yeah, and I want to well, I want to do it with fur textures as well. Yeah, Kirk Michael just challenged me saying, "Dustin, do an impression of a wharf from Star Trek." I think you can nail him. The uh, the Klingon. Oh yeah. Security in the next generation. Yeah, Captain. Like he has a very deep voice. Yeah, I don't know if you could do it. You have to do it in Klingon too. And you got to start Eat. smoking. <laughs> Does vaping count? <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I need some time to practice that one and maybe watch a few episodes where I can actually hear Worf talking because that's kind of the, the way that I learn to impersonate certain characters, certain celebrities, and even certain accents is through watching movies and hearing a line and reciting the line as close to that to the original source as possible mm. just kind of learn from there we do so. I'll try something here real quick I want to get a little Reflection in the eye. Reflection in the eye. Wow. 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 <laughs> hey, Peter. Hey, you see? Hey, you see there, Peter? <laughs> I wouldn't want to meet her. Did Disney also put the classroom number in the background? <clears throat> What's that? What? Does, all, does uh, Disney put the class the classroom number in the backgrounds of? Uh, I think he's talking about the uh, the famous uh, number uh, for their classroom they put in like all of their Disney films as an Easter egg. Uh, what are like, you talking about? I think it's like room one thirteen or something like that. I have no idea. We never did. I don't know what that is. Of course, I'm an idiot. Oh, apparently I nailed the, the war from personation before that. Before I <laughs> Captain. That's all you did? Yeah, no, that's it. No, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that series, The um, Next Generation. You need to work on it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> It's just like, <laughs> no. I, like, no. I, I don't know. No. <laughs> no. No, you sucked at it. Yeah, I suck. <laughs> A113. That's the, that's the room number. From Erica Bay. She knew. Yeah, she knew. Oh, it's in Pixar's movies. That's what it is. Yeah, Pixar is the one that does the uh, A113. Oh. A113 was the animation classroom at CalArts. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's right. I knew that. I forgot all about that. A little pretentious, don't you think? Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, Thanks for yeah. answering before uh, from uh, Giovanni. I have just asked... For one of my uh, 
one of my friends. I am not a Sonic fan at all. My big fault is to be a big fan of Zootopia 2. I will bet you would be a bear in Zootopia movie. Who, me? Yeah. No, it's a little bluebird. <laughs> a little bluebird. No, that would be you. <laughs> you would be a bird. He would be a bear. I would. And we would be in love? How would that work? I don't know. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make a shout. Nick, make a shout. Do you use a reference when you're animating? Uh, it depends on what I'm animating. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I know, I know what, I know who it is. I just, he has a very distinct pattern in his voice. Yeah. It's very, like, it's. it's He's also the scientist in uh, Independence Day. Yeah, he is. But it looks, it, it seems so simple, and yet it can be complicated at the same time, the way that he talks in uh, Star Trek. He's also in Boat Trip. Ever seen that one? <laughs> Boat Trip. Is it Boat Trip? You're a trip. Your face is a trip. Uh, I know. Hmm. You know, with, um, with the guys from Grumpy Old Men. They did one about being on a boat. Oh, yeah. It was out to sea. Out to sea. Out to sea, Shane. Out to sea, Shane. Out to sea, Shane. I can't remember that one. Are we losing our audience? Um, no, you're still where you were an hour ago. Yeah, it's just quiet. I'm the comments are just dead in the water. Let's give them a that's, little... That's completely illogical. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Have you ever tried uh, impersonating Gollum or Smeagol in Lord of the Rings? Ooh, oh. That's one of my specialties. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's a very good one. Rot has a gut. And it's nasty. Fiercy purposes. Fools! Claymore asks, is it, is it alpacas that spit? <laughs> Wonder if a sliver of long spit from the lip would take away too much from his bravado. Um, it's actually llamas that and camels that spit, but I mean they're in the same family, so it would, I would, uh, I would imagine that they do a little share of their own spitting. That is. So what I'm going to do here. Have you tried the iPad Pro for your designs? Uh, not this? for my designs. I've, I've used it with Procreate. So what I'm doing now is knocking the drawing back, so I can see where I because I, I, I want it to be I want to want it to be carried over by uh, painting, and so when I when I have the drawing turned up, um, it fills in dark areas that I it, it, when I turn it down it'll show me where I need to hit. My darker areas and so that's what I'm going to do now and just to find all of this a little bit better I'm going to set it to overlay or multiply I should say and I want to grab a different brush this is going to be a little smoother smoother and for the newcomer uh, are you going to do something for mermaid yes I will at some point just not today uh, do you have a favorite animal native to Australia? Um, well, let's see. Kangaroo. I, that's an easy one. That's too easy. Too easy. I, uh, I love, um, wombats. I 
I can't unsee Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm going through, oh, I don't want that there. What am I doing? I need it there. Oh, Boris Andrew just joined. Oh, Boris, hey man. Boris. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since we rock and rolled out on my porch. Oh. Boris, Boris is an awesome guitar player. He's looking, living up in, uh, I think he's in Montreal. Montreal art directing. He's an awesome art director. You ever been to Central Asia? Um, any plans to visit Seoul? I have. Well, I've been to. I've been to Thailand. I've been to Myanmar. 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 I've been to. South Korea. South Korea, but that's not really Central oh. Asia. I don't think. China, Japan, Beijing, yeah, China. China. Been to Thailand? Ch Thailand, yeah. Got drunk in Bangkok. <laughs> we always have this thing where, um, well, that's our personal thing, I guess. <laughs> but uh, any exotic city we go to, we have to have at least one night where we over imbibe, where we have a little bit too much to drink so that when we get home, like when I was in Kathmandu, I got drunk in Kathmandu, and so when I got home, we could be at a party, and over the party, you go, Hey, Craig, remember that night we got drunk in Kathmandu? Everybody will stop and want to listen to that story. <laughs> <laughs> but you have one for a lot of cities. We do. <laughs> it's turned out we've got, a, we've got one for a, a lot of cities, unfortunately. I like the one of you and Nick in Tokyo. Yeah, that was a good one. Nick and I had... A little too much sake one night in Tokyo. Wandered, wandered into a tiny little bar full of locals. Yep. It was pretty fun. Kirk Michael wrote, Hey Dustin, I think you should do the voice of this character. And your dad should animate him like the rat character you did. Oh, that's a cool idea. Put your card away. Put your card away. Hey, tell me. Put the card away. Nice. Does doesn't play Red Dead. I played the very first one, but I have not played the, the new one that recently came out. But I really want to, but I don't have an Xbox. What do you think about the Asian art style in general and the uh, anime? The Asian art style in general. I don't know what the Asian art style in general means. I like anime. There's all kinds of anime. Um, anime as a genre, I like. I think, I think some a lot of young students get too caught up in drawing classic anime, and without branching out and trying other styles. Um, what are some YouTube question? What are some portfolio? cliches to avoid wow that's a good question portfolio cliches to avoid it's funny how people we get so many people asking what to put into a portfolio but we've never really got a question of what, what, to leave like, out. what yeah what to leave out well the one thing that i used to see a lot of in cg and in, uh, i guess in 2d as well from young animators is they would put all of their like first year animation stuff in there so we would see like walk cycles and things like that don't do that if you're if you're putting a portfolio in to a professional studio put acting scenes in there put professional grade stuff that could be in a movie um you know remember you're 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 going to be competing against uh people that have been in the industry for years and years and they're going to have a much stronger portfolio so put the best stuff you can in there um you know recent material that is just terrible what i'm putting in there I think. there i'm going to add a little bit of reflected light under his chin
Well, so that's my advice on that. Sorry, Dustin. Go ahead. Uh, what's the best advice any artist ever gave you? Um, I don't know. I mean, I've, I, I don't know about the best advice. I, one of the most honest people that, that really, and it really helped me, was a guy named, uh, uh, his last name was Lewin. Bill, what, Bill Lewin? He owned Mill Pond Press, which was a, a print, it's a print company in uh, Venice, Florida. And they did, at the time, this is in the 80s, they were doing a lot of wildlife prints. And they still might be doing that, I'm, I'm not sure. But, um, and I wanted to be an artist for them, as well as National Geographic. But I, I thought I was good enough to, I was 18 years old, a little cocky, and thought I was good enough to work for them. And, uh, and so I happened to go up and look at Ringling... Uh, to go interview, this is one uh, Ringling College of Art and Design where I went to school, and uh, while, while while I was there in the same town or just the town over, was uh, Mr. Lewin and his Mill Pond Press, and so we stopped. I called ahead and and we stopped in. Uh, I asked if he if they would look at my portfolio, and they said yeah. So I stopped in. I told them, you know, I was 18 and looking to have my work printed for them. And he goes, okay, let me see what you got. And I pulled out this big, clumsy portfolio, completely unprofessional. And um, and he starts thumbing through it. And I remember the first thing he said to me. He says, he says, do you want me to do you want me to lie to you, or do you want me to tell you the truth? I was like, ooh, wow, okay. I said, uh, of course, I want you to tell me the truth. And he said, all right. Well, if I were to put to, put out a print tomorrow that I knew was going to be an absolute failure. I wouldn't even use this work. I was like, whoa, wow, okay, that hurt, that stung. And uh, he says, but you've got some good potential. He says, I, I know you're going to Ringling, you're going to go to Ringling, go to Ringling, learn everything you can. Learn everything you absolutely can. And then when you graduate, come back and talk to me again. And... Uh, and I really took that to heart. It really showed me that I had a lot to learn. And uh, and I wasn't as good as I thought I was. And that it really was a life lesson for me to, you know, that you always have something left to learn, you know. And, uh, and it's interesting, too. Another big lesson for me is how your goals change over time. So I remember thinking, you know, I wanted nothing more than to, you know, work for Mill Pond Press, work for National Geographic. And within two years, I was working for Disney instead. <laughs> I never went back to talk to him. My goals changed and everything, but I'll never forget that experience that I had with him and the honesty that he showed me. Uh, it really kind of turned me around. And I, so that was probably the best, one of the best experiences I had. Like I said, it wasn't really advice other than him just being really honest with me. Jamie on YouTube asks, would you recommend showing concept to completion in a portfolio or just the finished pieces no i think i if, if you have something that's not uh if it's not you know too many pieces then definitely because i know studios are very interested in seeing how you think at least i know i would be and uh so definitely you don't have to do it with everything but yeah doing it with some of it some of your work would be great Adam says, don't forget the secondary lighting for the weapon. Oh, thank you. I did forget it. You have for God. I did forget it. Thank you very much. It's like, what is wrong with this? It looks weird. Something's missing. That's perfect. Perfecto. Where was my secondary lighting? Forget which one it was. Label your layers. Always label your layers. When I was drawing rough sketches or trying to clean it. Okay, more energy, Dustin. More energy. Come on, you're fading on me. Fading on me. No, I'm just trying to read. I'm trying to read. It's, it was, it's rough English. Um, uh. When I was drawing rough sketches uh, or trying to clean it, 
I can't draw the fur, the fur like you you can. I'm just missing the style. Can you please draw once? Drawing, draw the fur. Yeah. On 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 this guy. I think so. Or just draw like. Like I think he's just asking for like a quick fur lesson. Well, I can't do a quick fur lesson, but I'll. When I come back to the fur, I'll definitely show it. Hello. 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 Girls are coming home from school. All right, so I'm getting the, the secondary light on the gun. That's looking good. What would you do if you went back to the printing company and they still told you the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, then I go, dang it. <laughs> Hell. Well, they probably would. Maybe my style might be completely off for, for them. And um, when will your next live stream be? Uh, Tuesday next week? Uh, Tuesday of next week, yes. And then uh, I think we'll I'll be home for about 10 days. And then I have to go to Moscow. It's um, going all over the place. I know. And then when I get back from Moscow, then, then I'm home for, a, you know, until July. Oops. I got it. When you talk about a portfolio, is it is that printed or digital to present? Most are digital now. You put it on your own website, and that's how your work gets seen. So that's how you do it. Yeah, I've seen guys would even carry like their iPad and have all of their artwork in their um, in their photo gallery of the iPad. Yeah. Whoops. All right, well, I'm going right on top of there. So I'm going in with an even brighter, warmer color for the secondary light to give it a little bit more dimension. For the cigar? For the cigar. Well, the cigar is going to be done separately. Do you ever get tunnel vision when you're painting? I do a little bit, and then uh, I'll realize that I'm really overworking an area. That's that's what tunnel vision for me is. It's when I just get focused on one area and I just overwork it. So I'm, I'm you'll notice that I kind of jump all over the place so that I don't. I do that to avoid getting tunnel vision. Do you live stream on Twitter? Yeah, or tw yeah, Twitter. Yeah. Facebook, yeah. YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch, right? Yes. I think there's one more that we stream through. I can't remember. Not Instagram, not yet. Oh, that's, no. That's what it was. Oh, I completely missed the boat on doing the shoulder and everything, too. Dustin, whose voice are you doing with the. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that is uh, Cleveland from uh, Family Guy. I don't think that's a good idea there, Peter. <laughs> Drops of ash uh, dropping from the cigar, maybe? Yep, that's a good idea. That's a good idea right there. Just want to get a little bit more of this rim lighting done here. Here, here. I'm just imagining him with no pants on. <laughs> like I am now? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I would say 
Good voice impressions. Thank you. Oh, no, that's not what I want. What am I doing? I love how I did thumbs up towards the camera, even though it's the camera's now towards me. <laughs> like, yeah. Corey Barker says, what up, Aaron? Oh, Corey? Corey Barker. Hey, man. Long time no here. Oh. Twitch question. Who is your favorite band? I don't really have a favorite band. I like everybody. I mean, I like a lot. Stevie Ray is one of my favorites. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, I just, I like a lot. I can't, I can't say. Uh, YouTube question. Please add the smoke from the cigar and the weapon. I'd like to see that. <laughs> How's it feel to want? YouTube question. What's the last good book you remember reading? Oh man, I haven't read a full book in quite a while. Probably The Kite Runner. I cried. Oh, I openly weeped when I read uh, Kite Runner. I'm getting teary up now. <laughs> hey, Dustin, are you going to see Detective Pikachu? Yes. Yes, I am going to see Detective Pikachu. Nerd. Yes, I am a nerd. It actually looks kind of funny. It yeah, it looks a lot of looks like a lot of fun and. It's Ryan Reynolds, right? Yeah, it's Ryan Reynolds as as Pikachu himself and. Just Nerd. The, the, the design of all the characters looks amazing. I like the fuzzy little hair. It looks cute. Yeah. But a lot of people were, were were not fans of it because they're like, that's... Because they're nerds. Yeah. But honestly, I, I, I really like it because it's the way he would look. In real. Like, shutting up. <laughs> Just kidding. What's your favorite mafia movie? The Godfather. Uh, Godfather, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> what's wrong with me? When Kevin Costner and Sean and, and uh, the Untouchables, the Untouchables, yeah. The Untouchables. Thank you. <laughs> right at the exact same time. Yeah. I was like, well, I was drawing a complete blank. That one's fantastic. Well, Godfather Two was pretty great. Yeah, it was. Aaron, have you ever drawn with your right hand? I broke my right hand, I'm right-handed, a couple weeks ago, and did some paintings with my left hand. Yeah, I have, and they look like crap. So, <laughs> therefore, I don't. <laughs> have you caught up on Game of Thrones? Yes. Are you planning to... I have theories. Oh, we have theories. Are you we... planning to come to France someday? Yes, someday. Someday. Not today. Not today, my friend. Not today. YouTube question. Hello. A question, you, uh, a question you listen to music while you draw, and if so, what kind of music? My friends and I have a little dispute to know if it's good to draw with music or not. Greetings from Columbia. Um, if I'm trying to come up with a new composition, animation especially, if, I, if I'm trying to find, if I'm listening to the dialogue and trying to find the acting in an animated shot, I, it's impossible for me to listen to music. It's not even whether or not I do or not. I, if I try to listen to music, it draws my attention away to where I'm not thinking about the acting. It's really bizarre. I think it occupies the same place in the brain, and that's why it does that. Once, I'm, once I have the, the rough animation down and I'm just tying things down, just drawing, then I listen to music all the time, and it doesn't, it's not distracting. So uh, I'm on autopilot. So it's very strange in that in, in the way that it works like that. Um, when I'm when I'm doing art though, uh, it doesn't do that to me. So I'm always listening to music when I'm working. Uh, um, when I'm doing you know painting or or digital work or whatever, always. And what is that about? Hiya. Hiya. What? 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 Like he. What? I can't hear repeat the question like three times, so apparently it's really important. But like the Haya, like H I Y A H, like Haya. What is the best creature design you've seen from a movie recently? Um. Uh, Dragon. Yeah. That's yeah, always there. You know what? I, I can't say recently. I don't know. I'm thinking about... 
Some of my favorite creature designs have been from uh, Avatar. But um, I can't think of any recent ones that have really stuck out to me. Can you think of any for you, you guys? Oh, fair creatures? I would say... Either Smog from, uh, from a Hobbit. Oh, the Stranger or, Things creature was kind of cool. Yeah. That or the, um, I'm one the, of the or the creatures on uh, Pandora from uh, Avatar. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning. Yeah. I'm one of the few people that's, I'm not a big uh, uh, Stranger Things fan. Remember the really weird movie, was it like the Ritual or something, and that, that creature... In the woods, it had... Like yes, that was cool. An elephant, deer... It was a deer thing. with a human head. And it was, I think it was the ritual. It was really, really weird. Yeah, that was a weird movie. But very... Uh, cool. What is the size... Like the what's the size of the canvas and the DPI? Uh, the size of the canvas is... Uh, image size is 18... Uh, wide, 24 inches high at 200 dots per inch resolution. Uh, what's my favorite quote? Lighten up, Francis. <laughs> That's my favorite quote. I use that everywhere. Um, did you ever get a chance to see A Quiet Place? If so, what did you think of those creatures? I thought those creatures were very cool, actually. Uh, I wasn't a huge... The logic of the film bugged me too much to, for me to enjoy it a whole lot. The logic of that film really annoyed me. Uh, but I did like... I really did like the creatures. I was told at Warner Brothers while animating, uh, you're not allowed to listen to music as it's so influential. Uh, I don't know if that's true. I would be very surprised if that was true. Bruce Lee doesn't drink water. He drinks water! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> But you know what he eats, right? A whoop -a! A whoop -a! Murder King? Yeah. I always love those jokes. <laughs> and I actually have. I think it would definitely be a really interesting challenge to try to uh, animate uh, Bruce Lee doing some, doing some of his uh, fighting moves. I don't like that. Love the smoke? Yeah. I'm going to do a different line. What is this one? Oh, you know what? Somebody just mentioned Pan's Labyrinth, the creature design. Oh. Which is great. And oh, yeah. Actually, it's anything from... Uh, yeah, well, yeah, anything from the him. Shape of Water creature was pretty Yes, painful. yep, yep, you're... you're you're right on all accounts. I agree. Yeah, even the, um... Uh, Hellboy stuff? Yeah, like the, the sequel. The uh, Golden Army. Yeah. Because I loved all the designs in, in that one. Yes, his creature design stuff is insane. I never thought of drawing a cow as Rocky. That would be cool and funny as hell. That's that's cool and random as hell. <laughs> hey, good. I'm a cow. <laughs> uh, that's more like, um, what's his name? Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter, look, I'm a cow. <laughs> Moo.
Did Disney animation artists ever have crossover work with Disney Imagineering, like when it came to designing Disney animation-based rides? Yes. Not very often, but yes. And I don't have any examples. I wish I did. I can't think of any examples off the top of my head. Can you hear me breathing? Every once in a while I hear myself just going... I sound like freaking Jabba the Hutt. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so... The creatures in Never Ending Story were great. Actually, I sound like Jim Jackson. Jim Jackson. He was a mouth breather. <laughs> I love you, Jim. I love you, Jim. Please don't kill me. <laughs> well, the Never Ending Story was Jim Henson, I believe, studios, so, you know. Question. I'm going to art school, but a school with a good art program... I'm going to art... I'm going to an art school, but a school with a good art program, in quotes... Do you think it's possible to still make it into the viz dev industry for big movies? Uh, I'm not sure what, what you're asking. There, there's always going to be visual development for big movies. So at some point, yeah, if you're asking me, are you able to do it as a graduating student? Well, uh, your odds are stacked against you because... You don't have the experience, but over time you will. So it's, uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. There's always a viz dev department on every film that's made. So, yes. Well, speaking of Jabba the Hutt from earlier, uh, George Lucas's <laughs> birthday is today. Oh. Happy birthday, George Lucas. I did a drawing of Raja for his daughter for her birthday. Really? Yeah, I met. Aww. He came through the studio one day. I met him, and he told me it was his daughter's birthday. So I gave him a draw. I did a drawing for. Her. Uh, what kitchen appliance do you most identify yourself with? <laughs> what kind of question is that? You people are so weird. What? What was the question? <laughs> what kitchen appliance do I most identify myself with? <laughs> Well, let's see. I would say... A Kniffy? The bullet? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, kitchen gun! <laughs> no, it's the... It's the mixer thing. Yeah. Uh, the... Uh, the gas stove? Yeah, I, I would say the, the oven. The stove. <laughs> Corrected question. I'm not going to an art school, but a regular school with a good art program. Oh, there you go. Do you think it's possible to still make it into the visual development industry for big movies? Yes, it is. So I now I understand now. So you're still in high school. Yes. That's how they end. There's lots and lots of work within the industry still. There always will be. So you're not missing anything. I would have thought you'd be a bottle opener. <laughs> what do you think I am? I heard that the Chinese characters written in the rock tablets in Mulan's family temple were actually animators' names. Was yours there? No. Do you notice other artists on YouTube? And if so, who? Proko. Proko. I follow Proko a lot. Um, who else do I follow? I follow... Uh, um, Jet... Uh, oh, shoot. What's his name? I can't remember now. Sorry. Lightbox stuff? Well, definitely, definitely uh, Schoolism. Schoolism. Uh, I can't remember. So now I'm just going through and just hitting sweetening up areas. 
Um, I'd like to put a little brick texture in the background. I wonder what would happen. Let me try something. I don't know why, but the hand feels unfinished. I don't know why, but I don't want your opinion. <laughs> no, I haven't finished it. I don't know it yet. why, but I'll, I'll shut. I'll shut out. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Image. You, that came as just a. Beat it out of you? Yeah, if I want your opinion, I'll beat it out of you. That sounds like a plan, man. <laughs> No, I, I have not finished it. There's a, there's actually a few places where I need to go in and hit deeper darks. and uh, But I, I want to get that background behind him done first. Do you know what draw with Jaza? Ja, that's it. That's, Jaza that's, that's, is? That's the one I couldn't remember. And someone's asking. No, I, I do follow him. Yeah, okay. that's what I, that's, he's the one I couldn't remember. He's awesome. You want to make a stream of you using Procreate, please? Okay. Okay. <laughs> we can do it. Listen, what are your thoughts on Dreams on the PS4? I don't know that game. I don't know what that is. I might check that out, though, later. 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 I'll check that out later, man. Do, uh... Uh... George, yeah. George Decay. George. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Going to warp Victor Fine Shoes. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> oh, That's a, quite an interesting llama you got there. <laughs> Is that a Tommy gun? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with his feet right now. I'm messing it up. Dustin, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm actually, I'm going to push some shadows in here, too. Watch this. Where is... I'm watching this here. <laughs> All right, hold on. Is this where you cover up half the drawing? Yeah. It's shadow tag. <laughs> Oh my. oh my. Oh my. I can't do it. I'm a terrible impersonator. Just takes practice. Just pushing them back just a little bit. Coming out of the shadows. He's oh. coming out of the shadows. <laughs> There's something on the plane. Oh, yeah. Are shadows There's supposed to be cool? Jim Henson did not work on the never-ending story, nor did his creature shop. Really? Side note. Yeah, I bet that was Nick. I'm sure that was Nick that had to say that. That's okay. I just wanted to make sure, because I know he did, you know, the labyrinth and the dark crystal. I'm just kidding, Nick. Are shadows supposed to be cool and light areas warm and vice versa when painting all of the time? No, not necessarily. You can have cold light, like fluorescent lighting, and warm shadows. Um, you can have, you know, you can have an area that is being slightly lit by warm light, like the sun or a setting sun. But let's say you have a, a brighter light source that's neon or, or um, you know, fluorescent. That light source is going to be cooler light than the dimmer uh, reflected light, so or, or shadow and the light reflected in the shadows. So it's possible to have. It just depends on your light. Most natural lighting situations are going to be warm light, cool shadows, but there are lighting situations that that go against that. Have you heard about? Just lost it. Have you heard about the mermaid short film? the Bancroft brothers are working on. I have. I've seen little little bits of it, too. It looks pretty darn cool. Have you, I have. Yep, those guys are doing a good job. Maybe more ambient occlusion under his hat. Ambient occlusion? 
You mean a little bounced light? A little bounced light? Just say bounced light. I'm just reading the comments here. No, I know. I'm talking to the viewer. What's your favorite Star Trek episode? I don't know. I don't like that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I haven't watched the, that show in quite some time. I want to get that background area. Yeah, the done. new the new series is fine, but I have got into the Orvo over that over Star Trek right now. Yeah, the I I agree. Is so hilarious and it's on point. Oh, the the ones that uh, what's his name? Farley. Yeah, McFarlane. Seth yeah, McFarlane. Seth, yeah, Seth McFarlane. Is that one good? It's so good. Yeah. It's it's on its second season right now. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. It's on point as far as a sci-fi show. Yeah. I'll need to look into that. Is it on like, is it on one of the uh, on, streaming sites like Hulu? You can or? get it on Amazon and on Hulu. Oh sweet. I don't need. What's the people. worst advice I've ever received? I don't know because I don't listen to bad advice, <laughs> <laughs> so I can't say I can't say what it was. All you gotta do is you gotta draw. What do you miss the most from your days at Disney? What do you miss the least? I miss the most all my friends uh, working in a uh, working in a uh, you know in a um, an atmosphere a studio atmosphere working you know with a group. I miss making features. I love making big movies. But I don't miss the executive, you know, as a director, there's a lot of executive stuff I had to deal with, and I don't miss that. Um, I don't miss compromise. There's a lot of times I felt like the vision gets compromised a little bit through, uh, through compromise. <laughs> we, you know, there's a lot of compromise. And it's, I know it's just part of the process, but there were times where I just, I just felt like it, was, uh, it lessened the project. And that's and that's something you have to do when uh, when you're working in a group setting. I love working on my own. Uh, there's something about that that's just awesome. It doesn't. I don't know if you ever watched Samar Jack, which I have, and I love that show. But the creator is making a new show that is called Primal, and I think you might like it if you like Samar Jack. I will I'll need to look into that. I'll look into it, sir. I'll look into it, believe it or not. Believe it or not. It's really cool. For Primal? Yes. I saw it on Facebook today. Oh, you did? Yeah. I need, I need to see that. I have not seen it yet. But, um, yeah, I love Samurai Jack. I always love to design the, uh, the animation style of Jack, and, um, yeah. I don't know if I like that or not. I, I twist purposely did it at an angle just to fake a little bit of perspective. Not sure I'm liking it enough. Big brush here. Yeah. I'm adding a little texture. So I've locked the layer which is allowing me to create a texture. Uh, have you heard of the movie Klaus, the 2D animated feature? Of course feature? I have, yes, very much. I love it. That is how you pronounce it, right? Klaus? Is it Klaus? Klaus, or? yeah.
I mean, I'd love to see you draw some uh, classic sci-fi characters like Predator and Alien. I'd love to see how you would handle the, the shadows and textures with these guys. Right now I'm experimenting with the background and I'm just killing it. I don't like it. I like it. I don't like it. We like it. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to cheat. Actually, I don't have to cheat. Let me do this. You know, honestly, with just a blank background like that, I, I like that because it makes it look like he's in a really dark room. He just has that one spotlight on his face. So Jesse Aaron asks, so whenever I've done work for client, as opposed to my own um, enjoyment. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah. You go ahead. I, actually, okay. Dustin, you guys take over for me. I have yep. to run just for a second. It's All much right. more stressful and gives me a bit of anxiety. I discover um, it really, I really don't enjoy it um, because it puts pressure on me. Um, does that disappear after a while or is the business just not for me? So it's saying that... Um, when they're for doing it, but over time, it just kind of got stressful over time? No, it's just doing work for clients for money. It's it's hard to please people, so it, it's stressful oh, for the person. Oh, yeah. Um, does that go away after a while and you just get your confidence, or does that, you, yeah, you, does that stay? I personally feel that you can get used to it pretty quick um, because I kind of had the same deal when I'm working at Studio D because of we would make the, the 3D work in that business and we would constantly get notes over. There would be times where we're like we get the shots approved real quick and then there would be times where they just get tedious with like one particular detail just and just constantly working on it over and over and over till you get it right. And on top of that, there were some days where it just worked late in the, late in the night and uh, it did get stressful at times, but there'll be times where it gets where it gets easier. So it just, yeah, I think the stress will just go away. And uh, as long as you find something that is that it relieves the stress, like whether if it's going out for a few drinks or going to the movies or just going out to a park somewhere or even just staying home playing video games or watching TV, like just something to unwind. I think that would definitely help uh, relieve the stress too. So. And not, not taking it so personal. Everyone's going to have their own opinion about your artwork, but um, at the end of the day, it's your artwork and it's it's your vision. If you're trying to please a client, you can't always please a client. So you yeah. kind of have to just understand that it's not it's not for what you it's want. It's for what, what they want. Exactly. And you're trying to please them. Yeah. And yeah. If if the client gives you notes, don't take it too personally, because that because they're just basically telling you more what they what they want like whatever you show like their first project that's basically the rough draft and the client is there to help you refine that that draft to make it to the final product and uh, I mean that's why you have multiple projects of the same thing over and over so. I'm back sorry my old man bladder couldn't take it anymore <laughs> It had been two hours. I thought I was going to die. I'm much better now. Alright, so let's see here. I'm going to do this. Uh, could you draw a hyena sometime? What's your opinion on them? Uh, my opinion on hyenas? Yeah. Cool animals. Okay, so what I want to do here is go shift, and then I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there. Literally starting over. Literally. I'm literally starting over. Did I just draw in the background? Doggone it. <laughs> All right. I've done that so uh, it's driving many, me nuts. many times. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright, now, here we go. Now, what the hell? I know, right? Okay, here we go. 
I'm gonna go that must here. Must a hard pee to huff and puff like that. <laughs> I was running up and down the stairs. Sorry. <laughs> stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Nick says it's going to vary from project to project. Yes, you get more confidence over time, but deadlines can be stressful. My advice: quote projects properly and always work for full price. Or free, but never cheap. Cheap makes unrealistic except, uh, expectation, exceptions or expectations, and none is happy. That, that's a very good point, Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. Nick, 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 Nick Birch. Birch. Nick, okay, so Nick. now I'm going to do this. This is how I'm going to create a nice brick wall. Julie, do a thing. Now I'm going to take that layer and that layer. I'm going to merge them. Merge layers. Now I'm going to copy that layer again. And I'm going to go boom. Straight down. Down. Now I'm going to take those layers and I'm going to merge them again. Merge layers. And I'm going to copy that layer and I'm going to go boom. boom. Nice. And then I'm going to take those two layers and I'm going to merge them and then copy them and drop it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. The do the thing thing so is, there. is from uh, Avatar Core? Yes, it is. That's where I, that's, that's where I got the, uh, uh, that's where I got that from and I've been using that and it kind of stuck with all of us. Do the thing. <laughs> where? Merge layers. Now, watch this. Now I can take this and drag it over. Ain't this cheating? This isn't cheating at all. <laughs> and if it is, yes. Okay, so now. Copy and pasta. So now I can go image adjustments. Come on. Hue and saturation, and I can lighten that. Well, watch what else I can do. I can go OK. I can go Edit, Transform, Distort. I can give it a little bit of perspective. There we go. There's a little bit of perspective on it. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a much better brick wall. That's a sexy brick wall there. I can knock it back a little bit. So it's not so in your face. Any, any chances you can put in uh, some bullet holes in the wall? I was there? just thinking that too. Uh, what's your what's your the achievement you're the most proud of outside of animation art and family? Is there anything else? Is there anything beyond that? I don't know. I mean, I uh, I don't know. I mean, that's my life: animation, art, and family. I think just being an overall nice guy. Nice uh, guy. Any advice for a, a new father? Yeah, uh, um, uh, <laughs> forget it. Just had my first baby a few months ago, and it's a bit hard sometimes to find time for animation slash work. I'm a freelance animator. Having the best time of my life, though, just not the most productive one. Well, that's okay. Those You can always get back to your animation. You can't get back to your baby being small. So don't miss those days when they're young. That's my biggest advice. I missed my son's first birthday because I was in California working on a movie. 
and I wish I had never done that. So, you know, and you can never get that back. So don't, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Enjoy having your kids because you can't have those times back. Dustin and Aaron, I know you guys love all creatures, but do you guys love wasps and hornets too? Of course. They have a purpose. I love them from a distance. If they come from a distance. Me, from a distance. Hey, what about a wanted cartel? Or like a wanted poster in the back? Uh, that would be awesome, but I'm, uh, I just want to get this done. <laughs> <laughs> get it done. Yeah, we're two hours and 43 minutes in. Yeah, exactly. But it is looking great. But I, uh, that's kind of fun. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of, a little bit more shadow. Thanks. This is our... Oh, you know what? We never saved it. <gasps> Packing Ooh. alpaca. <clears throat> Alright, let's, let's put some finishing touches on this. First thing I want to do is I'm going to go into the background. And I'm going to put those into a folder. Then I'm going to double that up. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to layer. I'm going to merge that group. I'm going to filter, blur gallery, blur, I'm going to Gaussian blur it. Not that it's much. Official Zoo, Zootopia 2 Don Llama. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a touch more. Maybe in there. I heard it. It's very cool. I like that. The, the Don Lama. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm trying to do the filter at the same time. Edit, free transform. Want the whole thing to be a little bigger. Stop. Transform. There we go. Okay, so we got that. I was thinking of keeping some pet wasps, but never see them in the pet store. Only cake, <laughs> only cake shop windows. <laughs> <laughs> you so crazy. It's just bizarre. <laughs> Fur neck Tony, the Don Lama. <laughs> oh, Pacacino. <laughs> I'm loving all these names. When well, you got your Cintiq, was it very complicated setting it up um, and getting used to it? No. Matter of fact, they're they're much easier now. So it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. And a lot the the you know, podcast quote would be, "You should have put your gun away." Yeah, you should put your card away. Image. I got another idea. Image adjustments. Yeah, what if we do this? Brian Johnson just joined. Brian Johnson. Brian. What if we make it kind of like sepia tone, old, looking like oh, this? Oh yeah. Oh a little yeah. Little film more. Mm -hmm. Like a black. I can always. Like yeah, that. I can always go back can always go back to color. I've got that saved. But I kind of like this. I'm digging this a little bit. 
Al Picone? <laughs> Al Picone, that's funny. Hi, I recently bought a Cintiq 16. I'm totally new to digital art. How long did it take you to get the hang of it and use it fluently? I don't know, maybe 40 seconds. <laughs> right over your heads. <laughs> no, it, it took a little while, but it it, it uh, you'll get used to it. Trust me. Just use it every day. Um, all right. So hold on a second. So I want to do one more thing. Well, I've got several things I want to do, but um, I want to get in uh, with my burn tool. Who would you want to voice as al alpaca? I think walking. Yeah. Actually, that would be really good. Image. What am I doing? Okay, I got to think. I'm, I'm thinking about multiple things at once, and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm going to drop this down. Flash sale. Oh, yeah. So, once again, just a reminder that our we have a flash sale going on at CreatureArtTeacher.com, and um, all of our brushes here we go I want to get some nice bright light in here all of our Photoshop brushes are 50% um, off so uh, if you're looking for for Photoshop brushes we've got them and we've got 50% off wrote, I knew it Aaron is doing one more thing <laughs> <laughs> I am and the thing? person I was, at, I was asking the uh, the voice uh, voice suggestions was this thing and uh, Joe Pesci. Oh yeah. I still like Christopher Walken. Guys, this Tommy <laughs> Gun's great, although it could use more cowbell. <laughs> Just burning in some of these other areas to get it to feel like that rim lighting is really strong. You ever try 3D? Like, C, like CG? Uh... No, I haven't. I mean, I, I tried to learn Maya back when I was directing, but I, I just didn't have the time that I needed to put into it. And I never went back to it. <coughs> so I've never, um, I never did. I never learned CG. Here's an idea. Since uh, this Sunday is the last episode of Game of Thrones, uh, Aaron should draw one of the dragons. Hello, just an idea. <laughs> hey, don't tell me what to do. I'm just relaying the message here. <laughs> Actually, it's a great idea. I love those dragons. You can't improve on them at all. For a second there, I was about to go, well, where'd you get a sword? Where, what are you going to do with that sword? <laughs> no, but he should do a Tyrion-sized dragon. Yes, that's like a one, cool idea. One that he would, could fit on, like a new one. Yeah. A little, 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 little guy. A little guy. A little, 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 little guy. A little guy. So here, now I'm going to go I in. I always pick on the little guy. Sure. 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 Oh, my. Welcome to Game of Thrones. Just roughing up, <coughs> excuse me, some of these edges a little bit. I always love the, your story of uh, beating Takei. The name's Takei, rhymes with okay. <laughs> I call him Mr. Takai. He goes, actually, it's Takai. Rhymes with OK. Three or four streams ago. You are working with the filter on. Can you show us the unfiltered version and talk about working this way? P.S. It's looking great. I'm not working with the filter on. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Uh, no, I'm not working with a filter on. I've got a, I, t I desaturated it, but I'm not working with any filters. Three or four streams ago, you said that you would make it visually clearer as to the tools and adjustments you're using. Right now, it is too small to see. Oh Are yeah, you going sorry. To include this feature in uh, future streams. Uh, maybe stop watching it on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. That's a simple answer. Just watch it on a on a computer or <laughs> watch on TV. Don't watch on your phones in the middle of class. <laughs> No, but we will. I just uh, we've been away, and uh, I just haven't had time. There's only so many days in the, or so many hours in the day. So many days in the hours. Yeah, that too. And your courses have super more like in depth instruction, right? Yeah. All right. So now I want to go to here. Here, there, everywhere. Gonna push. Some of these areas in the background out of focus, Shane. Eh? Well, put it out of focus right there. Another vote for bullet holes in the wall. Also, we are streaming at 720 today. Next time it will be at 1080. Oh, okay, yeah. So we're only streaming at 720 today, unfortunately. So you're not getting super high, high definition. can't afford the high definition at this moment. But the, the, the background wall is way out of focus, so bullet holes aren't really going to show up. I asked Tom ben, uh, Bancroft on Instagram why sometimes when watching pencil tests, um, why certain frames are missing uh, part of the drawings, except what needs to move. Uh, he called the part uh, he called them partials. Yes. Uh, what I wanted to know was, for the parts that are missing, are they meant to be copied from the previous frame? Yes, exactly. They're meant to be copied from a previous key. Not frame, but previous key. Key drawing. Yeah, key drawing. We did partials all the time because it saves it saves on time. Here. This is coming up pretty good. I'm happy with this. So now what I want to do is file open. I want to dirty it. I want this to make it look like it's a photograph. So I'm going to put in grunge. Look at this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> Forest Creature 2. Open. I've got a grunge, I've got a grunge layer on this other piece that I think is going to be perfect for this, if it ever opens up. Any second now. There we go. So here's the grunge layer. So I'm just going to take this and just drag it right over. Now, you can edit, free transform it. The grunge tool, why don't you ever um, save it on its own separate file? I always mean to, but I always forget. <laughs> <clears throat> it got moved somewhere, and I don't know where it is, and so I do know it's on this one. It's in this one. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to knock the opacity up a little bit. There we go. I think it would be fun for me to try to use that, that grunge tool for some of my pictures. No, I just want to, I don't want to grunge everywhere. I'm just going to take it away from where I think it's distracting. There. Aaron, how long should you animate for, and when should you take a break? Whatever, whenever you feel like it. When your body, if your back back is hurting, or you know something like that, then you need to take a break. 
Listen to your body. There, what do you think? You like that tech you like that grunge texture on there? Makes yeah. it feel kinda old tammy. Old tammy. Old tammy. Old tammy. Old tammy tammy gun. Old tammy tammy gun. There we go. Actually it'll be I would like to uh, get that grunge grunge filter from you sometime to, like put on Dropbox or something. Sure. You can pull up grunge filters all over the place, too. Just oh, do yeah. a search. Yeah. Save that. So there he is. There is our alpaca with a Tommy gun. Tommy gun. Smoking a Swiga. See? Just and now for my personal favorite, a Tommy gun. <laughs> he just smoked somebody, right? Yeah, he just smoked somebody. Uh, Twitch comment. Shame the details on the jacket now disappeared, which is really cool. Another vote for bullets on the wall. <laughs> Uh, zoom and pan. Oh, I can pull in tight. And you know, actually, I wonder if um, well, they're not totally disappeared. I wonder if it's just the. Uh, they're still I, there. They're, they are very still subtle. there. Very I wonder if I. Let me do this real quick. What's still there? The pinstripes on the jacket. They're saying oh. are lost with the the grunge effect. How's that? Can you see them now? I took away some of the I took away some of the grunge. Now let's uh let's do this image rotation. I want to see what it looks like in reverse. Oh, it's a big file. I like this one. I, whoever came up with this idea is pretty pretty genius. This yeah. is fun. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. This is a fun one. This is a fun one to do. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to add some uh, fur details. Let me do that real quick. See, when I turn it over, I see things that I want to I want to add. So I'm going to go to my grunge. I mean, my uh, my uh, blend tool. And for some reason, I keep losing my. I got it. It's a big quote, quote of what the, what he would say. <laughs> I heard you he was making memes about my brother. <laughs> Let me do this. File new. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a little fur brush real quick. Uh, five inches by five inches. Create. Right, a new layer, go black, pencil there, color dodge, no, I want it to be normal, all the way up, and I want, there, any tips for talking to wildlife artists, I will be attending a wildlife art gallery in London soon, any tips for talking to wildlife artists, um, know the subject, you know, that helps, I'm not sure what you mean by talking to wildlife artists. They're people. They're just people like us. That's what I am. I'm a wildlife artist. Just talk to them. Just go in there and talk to them. All right, so I've made all these dots. So now I'm going to turn off the background, and I'm going to go uh, edit, define brush preset, and I'm going to go, okay. And now I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to drop all the way down to the bottom and I've got this little guy here so I'm going to shrink this down and come over here and you're going to see that I can create fur textures very subtle uh, do you have an Instagram <clears throat> Instagram I do yeah. I do have an Instagram it's Aaron blaze art check it out and I got an Instagram too yeah Dustin does too and it's a uh, 
Dustin underscore Blaze. I think Vedanta has one. I do. You know, I don't really post a lot. I should probably start posting more. Yeah, I got. I started posting more stuff on Instagram as I got more t into photography. Like since I got my camera, I've been posting up there. Like, there we go. So I'm just adding a little bit of fur textures here. I just wanted just a little bit more detail. That feels a little better. I like that. So there we go. I'm going to flop it back around. There we go. One last thing to do. Sign it. Shine it. Save it. Sign it, baby. A tip to talk to wildlife artists. Approach slowly, up front, showing your hands. Talk with a nice, peaceful voice. <laughs> avoid sudden moves when talking to a, to a wildlife artist. Dad, have you, or have you ever cosplayed the dude? I did. I went to Vegas and dressed up as the dude, and people mistook me for the dude. <laughs> it was that awesome. Was a fun night. Yeah, yeah that I, was. I dressed up as. Uh, at first, <clears throat> I was trying to dress up as one of the Rat Pack, but uh, yeah. with the fedora I got, I ended up looking like a, a uh, gangster. Gangster. Yeah. yeah. So there it is. This is. Uh, I'll blow it up. So there's our our packing alpaca. So you can see, you know, even when I well, that's really blown up. But when I blow it up, you can see that it's relatively loose. You know, you don't have to get super detailed. It took me so long today because I'm running my mouth, talking and painting at the same time. But this is the kind of stuff that we'll be doing in the master class as well. Um, I'm going to be doing creature design, talk about character design. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, we don't have specific dates yet, but we're talking about August in Orlando um, doing a master class. And if you guys are interested, um, we'd like to hear from you. Let us know if you are, because we, we really need to gauge the interest see if uh, to see what kind of interest there is out there. Plus, if there is, we need to know how big of a venue to book. Uh, so let us know if you're interested in coming to Orlando and listening to me talk for a couple days. And... Um, uh, and also remember, we've got a flash sale going on at CreatureArtTeacher.com uh, where all of my brushes, hundreds of them, are on sale, 50% off. And uh, anyway, thank you for today. I really had a great time. I love doing uh, request, request, request day. Request, request day. Request day. Request day. Request day. Um, it's always fun because I never know what I'm going to draw and it's always fun to see what comes out. So here we have a gangster alpaca. Well, a, an alpaca with a machine gun. That was yeah. the request, yeah. right? And it, and it turns out the, it uh, uh, the, white, the white mouse and moose suggestion was actually um, a white moose and baby moose. So oh. I like completely misread that. Oh. Uh, that. Dustin, you idiot. A white I am baby idiot. moose. I just noticed. And a white baby I just noticed something that I have to fix. Ah, one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. Well, if you look at look at the hat, where the hat where the brim of the hat passes over the eye, uh -huh. you really those values are so close together. The hat value and the eye value, they compete with each other, and there's no depth. It feels like the hat, okay. it doesn't feel like the eye is underneath. So you have to lighten the hat. So, and darken. so I'm going to darken. Underneath underneath just a touch and I think I'm messing it up let me knock this back and then what I can do uh, is where, where can I find the information about the master class in Orlando I just gave it to you that's the only information you've got we've got is there is there any links or anything? No, there's no links. We're just trying to find, we're trying to gauge interest. So if you are interested, let us know. Just let, uh, email uh, support at creatureartteacher.com 
and let us know your interest. And if they're, you know, depending on that, that's where we will um, start putting it together. And then we'll make the information available on creatureartteacher.com, our website. So if you're interested, please let us know. That's what we're trying to gauge right now. So you're saying there's no link. <laughs> so I'm saying there's no links. That's a little better. Save. So there's our alpaca. So anyway, thanks again, you guys. I had a great day. Um, remember, contact us at support at creatureartteacher.com and let us know. Uh, let us know anything, actually. I mean, let us know if you're interested in the master class. But we're always taking suggestions as well to, uh, to better serve you guys. So I hope you enjoyed today. And uh, what's, your, uh, what's the Instagram again? Instagram is Aaron Blaze Art. All right. I think that's what it is. I think it is Aaron Blaze Art. And um, so remember, we're not going to be on on Thursday. Dustin and I are heading off to uh, Bozeman, Montana. Bo then, so we'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, and we're, uh, we're coming back on Monday. No, we're coming back on Sunday. But I think Tuesday I might have an interview. Hand drawn. I'm doing an interview on Tuesday, so we might not be able to. Yeah, so we'll be back again. We'll be we'll be back in a week, okay? And um, so anyway, get out there, put some beauty back in the world. That's what we do as artists: be good to each other, be nice to everybody, put your grocery cart away. And with that, Dustin and Vedanta. See you guys later. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.